Hello to all my lively ladies, you're very welcome back. My name is Trish and you're very welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to do a cardio workout using light dumbbells. So this is our sculpt and tone at home workout. So I'm just getting going with my warm up here. So when you're ready, you can join in with me. I'm just tapping out the floor here and I'm bringing my arms in to get that heart rate up and get those the blood flowing around the body and get you warm nice and quickly okay so just again as usual make sure that you have everything that you need before you start i have a chair just in case you want to you need assistance with balance i have my dumbbells ready here you don't have to use dumbbells if you just want to go body weight that's fine you can do that and also if you might need a bit of water and a towel for yourself okay now let's bend the knees a little deeper give me 10 more of these good eight seven six five four three two and one okay now let's take it into a leg curl and we'll warm up those hamstrings and we'll take it into a back pull here or a face pull up nice and high for the posture and just kick out that rear that's good kick and kick good pull back that's it now keep your posture upright keep your breathing big deep breaths in and breathe it all out and I want you from the start now to pull your belly button right into your spine and keep everything nice and safe good ten more nine eight let's drop the arms seven six five into step touch four three two and one okay step touch it over now I'm not using my little interval timer today this is going to be more like a a freestyle exercise or we'll just go from one to the other so that means the pace will be a little bit faster and again you can take it at your own pace slow the exercises down if it's a little bit on the fast side for you and you can pause the video and take a break halfway through if you need to but I do urge you to pace the room and have a little sip of water don't sit down because you want to keep your heart rate elevated that's it good okay give me ten more here nine eight seven six five get ready to march it out four three two and one a nice big march is for me now i want you to keep going with that i'm going to press start now and we'll get going with the first move we're going to do is going to crisscross the arms over and crisscross the knee and then the arms as well okay coming across your body right so keep going with a march now i'm going to like i said i'm using my dumbbells so if you're using some, grab them now. You can put them down anytime you like if you find they're getting a little bit too intense for you. Okay, let's go. Four, three, two, and crisscross the legs. Get the legs going first. That's it, cross the body. Straight away we're working those abs. Pull your belly button in, keep your spine straight. And then you can bring in some arms, just across and across. That's it, good. That's it, now really pull down draw that knee up keep everything nice and tight in your core that's it and pull and pull good you feeling those arms getting heavy it doesn't take long sure it doesn't okay ten more seconds then we're going to do our step touch we've just done it in the warm-up and we're going to add a shoulder press that's it four three two and one straight into step touch we're just going to let them all flow into each other and get ready shoulder press that's it up and up up and up good work that's it keep going with this we'll go for about 30 to 40 second intervals and then we'll just keep switching up with the exercises we've got a one leg knee raise and bicep curl coming next Oh, you can feel your heart rate coming up those dumbbells going above your head I sure do 10 seconds 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 one leg knee raise bicep curl sorry one leg bicep curl now I'm going to feel that standing leg working a little bit I'm out of breath already <laughs> and curl tuck in those elbows protect your arms there your elbows get them tucked in i like doing this from the side good 
that's good keep going come on lift and lift ten more we switch legs eight seven six five four three two one and switch it over that's it and lift and lift good get a full contraction there of your bicep good bring those L sorry dumbbells up to your shoulders down to your legs ten nine we're going to do a double knee raise now and keep the bicep curl going and then we'll change it into tricep pushbacks three seconds two and one two knees now you're getting out of breath getting your heart rate up a little bit it's amazing there's no beep or no rest time good. lift and lift that's it good let's change this into a pushback so push your arms back keep the knees going you can go faster if you like now if you want to slow it down keep it at your own pace you can push 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 good ten more we're going to go into a low shuffle now seven six five four three two and one now into goblet position with the dumbbells and over now you can leave out the hop if you want to just keep it low impact now I'm down low here I'm sitting in my little chair I've got my chair stuck to my bottom if that's too much in your knees you just come up right okay get rid of the chair <laughs> all right now if you want to add a bit of intensity jump it across just add that little hop in the middle that's it good you're still working the same muscle groups whether you do a low impact move or a high impact move you're working your inner your outer thighs that's it good over we go well done keep going now next move we're going to step the toe out to the side and add some arms that's it four to go three two and one okay step the toe out if you want to get the legs going first go ahead and then add the arms I always think it's good to get the legs down first and if you find this is too hard with dumbbells it's throwing your balance off you might even need to hold on to something for this one just put the dumbbells down hold on to your chair good lift and lift lift and lift that's it now i've got next move is a combination of three moves so we're going to do four torso twists then we're going to go into a squat and then we're going to step it back for two or you can lunge it back if you want to okay let's do four three two and one hold still hold them in goblet one two three four squat and lunge it back or you can just step it back okay all right one two three four squat lunge or step it back that's it again one two three belly buttons in tight now down and lunge it now really don't twist your torso if you're not engaging your core because you could hurt your back squat it and then you can just step it back if you want to again one two three four squat and one and two one two three four squat and lunge it or step it back let's go two more one two three four you feel those abs working yeah one and two and again one two three four squat and one and two now we're going to take it into ski squat bicep curls this is a great move gets all those big major muscle groups worked for you that's it ski and curl feeling those glutes working most definitely feeling your quads the front of your leg there your thigh muscles you're going to work your hamstrings as you come up and fire off in your glutes squeeze your glutes as you come up that's it and then of course you're working your upper half your abdominals your back muscles and your biceps because we're doing a bicep curl okay we've got some x squats into squat and press next so you're just going to kick your leg across the front of your body for two and then you're going to squat and press it with those weights or body weight let's go for four 
three, two, and one, and one, and two. It's like a thruster. One, and two, and make sure that you're controlling that kick by contracting your quad muscle. That's it, just tense up your quad muscle there at the front, your thigh muscle, so that you don't uh, uh, put out your knee. And up over the head, kick and kick, squat and press, kick and kick, squat and press. You can go a little bit faster if you can, and you're gonna get really, get some great some cardio here, great cardio. That's it, sit and press, one and two, sit and press, one and two. Now we're gonna step back and do some upright rows next, one and two, good, give me two more, one and two, last one, get ready to step back, modified lunge, get the legs down first, and now upright row, lead with the elbows, don't bunk your face, that's it, good, push back, push back, punch, punch, and kick the leg out as next, so you can be punching those weights out for me, Good, you should be feeling now your muscles working hard by now. Five seconds, four, three, two, and one. Punch, punch, kick, kick, punch, punch, and kick, and kick, punch, punch, kick, and kick, punch, and punch. You can actually run the two together if you like. One, two, or you can leave it separate one two I don't know, I find it a little bit less confusing if you separate them one two kick and kick one two that's it kick and kick now you're going down into that little tiny squat make sure that you're not falling forward look forward that's it good wow I can really feel my upper back muscles working as I punch out there that's it one two watch those knees two more Good, I'm gonna squat and into pendulum next. That's it, now hold the weights out and goblet and pendulum. Squat in the middle, opposite leg, that's it. Alternating the legs, up, sit into a squat, alternate, squat, alternate, that's it, good. Lift, sit down, squeeze your muscles. Now don't just throw your leg up in the air. Hold on to a wall here, put your weights down if you're using them. Hold on to a wall if you have to. That's it, lift, sit down. Good, we've got hamstring curls and face pull next. We did it in the warm up. Good, that's it. Come on, give me a few more. Four, three, two, one. Curl the leg first. It's gonna to be tough with weights, this one, but it'll really work those back muscles if you can do it. Okay, up high, that's it. Pull back, pull back, good. Now keep everything nice and tight in your core, the center of your body. Good, we've got a step touch and squat and press next. Good work, come on, pull back. That's it, give me 10 more seconds. 10, nine, Eight, get ready for step touch. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now step touch, foot to meet the other foot. Good, get the legs down first. Now we're gonna do another four of these and then into squat press, okay? So one, two, three, four. Squat and press, four, four. Two, three, four. And again, just four and four. Two, three, and four, and now squat and press. One, two, three, four, and again. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four. And it's gonna be one more. One, two, three, and four. Next move now, we're gonna step back. Okay, we're gonna step back in kind of a little deeper lunge. So. Gonna step back and step back. And all the weights up and goblet if you feel you're falling forward too much. Now just step it back here in a modified lunge. If going 
down deep is too much for your knee or your balance. So it's a, like a curtsy, curtsy lunge here. That's it, good. Keep going. Now these big leg muscles will get your heart rate up. You can actually probably feel that you're a bit breathless here. Good, let's do four. And then we're gonna, what are we doing next? Oh yeah, side lunge and knee raise. Okay, let's get ready. Now, side lunge, knee raise. Stay on one side, because it flows nicely. Knee raise. Out to the side, knee raise. Out to the side, and up. Good, over, and up. Abs are tight, and up, over, and up. Good work, come on, you can do this. Two more. Get that balance for me. That's it, good. Now, other side. Over, and up, over, and up. Whew. You can really feel the challenge the balance is getting here. Now, you can put your foot down, and then lift your knee up if it's too much for your balance. You can put the weights down, hold on to something. Good, just do whatever you have to do. You don't have to be doing what everyone else is doing. That's it, good. Really feel my glutes working here. Good, knee drive next for both legs. Let's do one more here. Now, knee drive. That's it, pull those weights down. Good. You have to find a position that works with the dumbbells. Usually I do this body weight. Good. Back. No harm. Getting more tricep work there. A bit of the shoulders. That's it. Good. Five more with change. Four, three, two, and one. Whew. This is tiring. Good. Keep going. Come on. Pull back. Knee up. Weights down. Good. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, now we are back to crisscross and knee raise. If you find the weights, have zonked you, get rid of them if that's even a word, and go body weight. I'd prefer you did that than giving up, okay? All right, let's go. I'm going to keep going for a little while. That's it, opposite side. And drive, and drive, and drive. Draw a big rainbow over your head, that's it. 15 minutes in, good. Over and over, good work. Keep going, come on. 10 seconds. Push through it, step touch, shoulder press. Let's rest the arms, because we've got our step touch with shoulders again. Three seconds, two, and one. Now step, touch it out. Get the legs moving first. Make sure you're comfortable with your legs because it's important they keep going more than the arms. Shoulders. Now, if you feel like round two, yeah, I can pick up the pace a little bit. You go for that. Good. Lift and lift, lift and lift. Good. Push through this, come on. Lift over your head. That's it, you're doing a great job. 10 seconds. One leg knee raise, bicep curls, the shoulders will get a break. So push through, come on. Five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, you have nice big shoulders of steel when you're done. That's it, one leg knee raise, bicep curls. Lift and lift, lift and lift. Come on, work hard, that's it. Press that leg behind you, but don't press your heel into the floor. Tuck in those elbows, curl it up. Good work, five seconds. Let's change, four, three, two, and one. Other leg, that's it, get your balance. Lift and lift, lift and lift, good work. Got a double knee raise, and we'll start off with bicep curls, and then we'll do some tricep extensions. Five, four, three, two, and one. And bicep curls. That's it, good. And curl it, and curl it. That's it, 
that's it well done now will we extend it back push it back that's it 10 seconds go to our low shuffles you can keep the impact low or bring it up a little bit moderate impact if you like four three two and one now off we go down low come up high if it's too much for your knee it's great quad and glute work here you can add a little hop or leave it at stepping across if you want and you can even make it more intense if you keep it low impact by going faster that's it good i leave it up to you you find a way that works for you that's it good you're doing great come on stay with it we're going to step our toe out to the side now and reach the arms above the head the, the arms are getting a rest here now so you might be able to keep going with the next one good four seconds okay step the toe out to the side when you're ready arms arms that's it good reach watch your back here watch your spine pull that belly button in tight for me good work got those four torso twists one squat two lunges or two step backs coming next good five four three two and one ready pull your belly button in one two three four squat step it back one two three four squat step it back or lunge it back so one two three four squat and lunge for a two one two three four squat and one and two can you remember what's next <laughs> i'm forgetting myself ski squat bicep curls okay let's do two more one two three four squat and one and two and one two three four squat and one and two what a wonderful combination move squat and bicep curls come on that's it keep going keep that heart rate up for me you're gonna burn loads of calories with this workout today taking out that rest good that's it sit back don't worry guys about burning calories too much calories when you're working out you might say oh my god i've only burned 150 or 200 calories just keep going throughout the day keep your body moving throughout the day it's not just one when you're exercising you can control your calories by moving throughout the day keep keep don't be keep sitting for long periods and then obviously what you're eating as well make sure you're eating nutritious foods um, and that's the way we control uh, our weight okay all right let's see now x squats so we are kicking and that is we're xing and then we're squatting and pressing and x and x squat and press kick kick squat and press kick and kick squat and press kick and kick squat and press good one two and up one and two squat and up step back upright rows coming just another three of these one down and up two more that's it squat and press one more squat and press now step it back upright row leading with your elbows that's it good up and up don't forget now the next one is punch punch and kick the leg out you can either combine it or do i tried to combine it but it kind of was a bit messy so i'm going to just do it them separate up if you know posture muscles going screaming at you there behind you good four more three two and one ready punch punch and kick the leg out for two good one two one two one two one and two one two one and two and again one two and kick and kick one two kick and kick one two kick 
and kick two more got squat and pendulum coming next last one one and two now squat and pendulum we start on the left that's it and right squat left and right good squat it down one two good that's it keep going come on you're doing great hamstring curls face pulls coming next that's it chest is up keep your form i know your fatigue might be setting in now do your best to keep your form two more last one ham curls okay get the legs now your upper half pull back that's it good squeeze those shoulder blades squeeze and squeeze and squeeze Ooh, this is tough step touch shoulder press next good work keep moving come on pull back that's it you're doing great looking good 10 seconds nine eight seven six come on five four three two and one step touch get your feet down first can your shoulders take any more if if they can't rest the weights by your side or just rest them goblet okay they're safer for your posture come on i won't stay too long at it try a little bit if you can i'm going to step back and touch the ground next oh well, you don't have to touch the ground or modified lunges four three two and one now step back and step back now if you want to go a little lower you can you can go right down to the ground there if you want to that's quite advanced that'll really knock your balance out but you want to give it a go that's it or you can come upright you can still go down low but stay in goblet go whatever feels the best for you side lunge knee raise next let's do another four three two one okay side lunge knee raise put the weights down now if you feel at this stage you need assistance with your balance mind you i always find as the workout goes on my balance improves that's it as the nervous system tunes into the workout good you can go into a deeper lunge there if you can if you've got good flexibility of your inner thighs and it doesn't throw out your balance okay four three two last one okay get that knee raise in other side good up over up and over and up good feel a lovely stretch nice ballistic type stretch there for your groin that's it stay in control make sure you're not going to overly stretch there that's it last four good and three knee up two left and last one okay well done now we have our knee drives pull the arms down good knee drive knee drive good that's it come on you're nearly there these are last two moves and we are done i'm gonna cool i'll cool you down pull down that's it bend your elbows if you have to if your arms are tired put the weights down if your arms are tired come on i want you to finish out i'd rather you did body weight than not finish out 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Oh, okay, knee drive. I wanted to transition nicely, but oh, that was a bit of a bummer. Good. Pull back. Pull back. Good. Keep going. Come on. Just there now. Push through. Last 10, 9, eight seven six five four three two and one okay 27 minutes just a little over 
Ooh, good work. Oh, I tell you, that got me sweaty. That was great. Ooh, need to pace for a minute. Heart rate's up high. Now, I really do like those kind of freestyle workouts. They get those endorphins flowing. They make you feel like you have really, really done a good workout today. But I know for some people, they might be just a little bit too intense. And if that's you, what you can do is just take breaks, take little breaks at intervals throughout the workout. Take it back to a march, even if it's getting too much for you. Just a basic march. Have a sip of water, you know, just do whatever you can. If you want to bring your heart rate down, you feel it's up a little bit too high. These are all little tips to help you stay with the workout and not feel like it's beyond you, okay? All right, now let's do a few cool down stretches. Okay, now we will st let's stretch out the uh, hamstrings. Now if you have a step lying around, it's actually nice to use a step. Sometimes I like to use a chair to stretch out my hamstrings even because you get a nice stretch there. But try and keep your spine upright if you're going to use a chair. You will see a lot of people bending forward, but if you feel strain in your back, it's best to stay upright and keep your spine straight. You can bend forward slightly. Okay, so feel a nice pull there in the hamstring. Make sure your toes are facing the right direction. Push your heel into the chair or the step or the floor. If this is too much, you know, I know I understand this will challenge people's balance to no end. So if that's you, you can just go down onto the floor, okay? Make sure your toes again are facing nice and straight in front of you. Good. Push the heel into the floor because you're going to get a good stretch when you do that. That's it. Stay in tune. Keep in tune with what your muscles are doing. And open up your chest for me. You can actually stretch out your chest while you're here and get a double stretch. If you find you can't focus on uh, the lower half, if you try and bring in an upper half body stretch, do them separately. That's it, good. I'm always just trying to save some time. Now, let's stretch out our torso or our trunk from here, from the armpit, down to the hip. Bend over. You can reach your hand down towards your leg. If you can only get it to here, your upper thigh, that's fine. If you could travel it down to, past your knee, try that. See how you go. Keep your abdominals pulled in tight. Good. And back up. And over, abs in now before you start bending to the side. Good work. Well done. That's great. Feeling good now after that. Nice, nice and uh, energized. And the head is in a good place. Uh, feeling positive and ready to get going with the rest of the day. And that's how we should feel first thing in the day. Stretching out that torso. If you can do the stretch lying down, it's lovely. Holding on to the underside of a couch, the underneath of a couch, a radiator, even get someone to hold your hands. It's a wonderful stretch. Now abs in tight, over, over, and over, good. This is a ballistic type stretch. You can hold it for a few seconds. You shouldn't feel strain in your lower back. If you do, I just suggest pull your belly button in first to make sure you're engaging your core, see if that helps. If not, maybe leave out the stretch. Good. Now reach for the other side of the room. Abs are in so tight. That's it, protecting your spine. And up again. Let's do an inner thigh stretch. That's it, so just bending over, being a nice pull there on the inside of your leg. Keep your chest upright. Good, that's it. Come up a little bit more. Hold. And up to the middle and over we go. And again, you might find one side is a little freer than the other. That's totally normal. The body is full of little uh, abnormalities there with our posture and our muscles being tight. Come on up. Walk your legs in. Now, can you just very gently reach down? If this is too much for you, you can just go to here. Okay, if you can get down to your toes. Well done, step your leg back. Now, if this is too hard for you, you can go up on a chair. 
or a couch, coffee table, and I'm just going to stretch out your inner thighs a little more. I've just brought my right foot over to my right hand, and I'm just gonna reach up and stretch out my chest, open up my chest. Okay, and again, have a little stretch there. Make sure the leg that's going back behind you is actually in a straightened position. Bring, line up the two feet and then try the other leg. Now don't worry if you're not getting your foot up or getting to next to your hand. That just depends on your mobility and your flexibility, but you can work on it. Straighten this leg that's going back out behind you. Don't try to make, make sure the knee's not falling to the floor. Reach up, open up that chest. Have a look up at it because it stretches out the neck too. Good. Well done. Hold it there. Sometimes I like to actually push the leg away with my elbow and it increases the stretch there as well. Walk your feet, two feet back together and then bend your knees if you have to. And then very gently, abs in tight, stand up. If you weren't able to do that on the floor, you can try it here. Push your chair up against the wall so it doesn't move. I'll just move all these things out of my way. You can step your feet in. Okay, make sure your chair is secure and reach around. Okay, two feet together, over and reach around. I'm just very quickly showing you these stretches just to give you options if you weren't able to go to the floor. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed that workout. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them down in the um, comment section below the video here and I will get back to you. Thank you. I will see you very soon. Bye bye.